All right, so Elon Musk has been making some wild claims about Grok 5, and honestly, we need to talk about it. Look, in today's video, I want to unpack whether these are just, you know, classic Elon optimistic timelines, or if XAI is genuinely on the verge of dropping something that completely reshuffles the deck. Because based on what he's saying, this isn't just another incremental update. He's talking about AGI. He's talking about discovering new physics, which is kind of crazy. So let's get into it and try to separate the signal from the noise. So one of the first things we have to do is just acknowledge the elephant in the room. Elon has a history, you know, a history of being super, super optimistic with deadlines. Full self-driving, the Cybertruck, Neuralink, a lot of things take longer than he initially says. And I don't want to start this by just hating on Elon, but we have to use that as a lens. He genuinely really, really believes in his team's ability to pull off insane things. And sometimes that belief translates into timelines that... Well, let's just say they're aggressive. But here's the thing. With XAI, he's kind of been delivering. Grok 4 came out, and I have to say, it exceeded a lot of people's expectations. So when someone on X tweeted a chart, you're seeing it on screen now, showing Grok 4's thinking capabilities beating GPT-5 high on the ARC AGI-2 leaderboard, it got a lot of attention. And this isn't just some random benchmark. ARC AGI-2 is a tough reasoning test created by Francois Chalette. It's designed to test for actual intelligence, not just memorization. Grok 4 scored a 15.9% versus GPT-5's 9.9%. That's a significant lead. And of course, Elon replied directly to this, saying Grok 5 will be out before the end of this year, and it will be crushingly good. Crushingly good. Classic Elon. Now, this is where it goes from a competitive update to something else entirely. In another tweet, he flat out said, wait until you see Grok 5. I think it has a shot at being true AGI. Haven't felt about anything like that before. Okay, pause. AGI, artificial general intelligence. That's the holy grail, an AI that can reason and learn across a wide range of tasks at or above human level. It's what every single one of these labs is chasing. So for him to say Grok 5 has a shot at it, that is a massive, massive claim. Personally, I'm skeptical that we're that close, but it tells you what their internal target is. They're not just trying to build a better chatbot, they are aiming for the absolute summit. He even doubled down saying Grok 5 has a non-trivial chance of achieving AGI and that XAI is close to having all the pieces in place. So the big question is, how? What pieces are they putting in place? Well, if you dig into their recent live stream, they actually lay out the strategy pretty clearly. The first piece is tackling Grok's biggest weakness right now. It's partially blind. Musk himself said this. Yeah, this is the, we, we still like, so like what, what is the biggest weakness of Grok currently is that it's, it's sort of partially blind. It, it can't, it's, it's image understanding, um, obviously and it's in image generation uh, needs to be a lot better. Um, and that, um, that, that's actually, um, being trained right now. So um, Grok 4 is based on version 6 of our foundation model, um, and we are training version 7, uh, which we'll complete in a few weeks. Um, and uh, that, that'll address the uh, weakness on the vision side. Its image understanding and generation needs to be a lot better. Right now, models like GPT-4.0 and Gemini are truly multimodal. They can see, hear, and speak. Grok 4 is primarily text-based, which is a huge limitation if you're trying to build an intelligence that understands the world. So step one for Grok 5 is almost certainly going to be a massive upgrade in multimodal capabilities. They're training their next foundation model, what they call version 7 of their architecture, to fix this. That's the first piece of the puzzle. The second piece is just raw, brutal compute. It's the scaling laws, right? More high-quality data and more computing power generally leads to a smarter model. And they're not messing around here. They've laid out a ludicrous rate of progress. Going from Grok 2 to Grok 3 was a 10x increase in training compute. Grok 3 to Grok 4, another 10x. So Grok 4 was trained with 100 times the compute of Grok 2. He says that trend is only going to increase. They're building out this insane supercomputer, Colossus 2, which they say will be the world's first gigawatt scale AI training cluster. So part of the plan is just to throw an unprecedented amount of power at the problem. I mean, scaling, scaling, scaling. It's a proven method and they're pushing it to the absolute limit. But here's what I think is maybe the most interesting part. It's not just about compute. Musk mentioned that Grok isn't even using its most powerful tools yet. What does that mean? They were, we're at the beginning of an immense intelligence 
explosion. We're in, we're in the ex intelligence Big Bang right now. Um, and the mo we're at the most interesting time to be alive of any time in history. Yeah. Now, that said, we need to make sure that the AI is um, a good AI. <laughs> uh, good grok. Um, um, now, this doesn't mean that it's, it, it, you know, at times it may lack common sense, and it has not yet invented new technologies or discovered new physics, but that is just a matter of time. Mm -hmm. um, if it, I, I think it may discover new technologies uh, as soon as later this year, um, and I, I would be shocked if it has not done so next year. So I would expect Grok to, yeah, literally discover new, new technologies that are actually useful no later than next year and maybe end of this year. Um, and it might discover new physics next year. And within two years, I'd say almost certainly. So yeah, th so these, this is really, I'd say, the, the, we, say we say tools. The, these are say, still primitive tools, uh, not the kind of tools <coughs> that, um, that uh, serious commercial companies use. But we, we will provide it with those tools. And uh, it, I think it will be able to solve, with those tools, real world technology problems. In fact, I'm, I'm certain of it. It's just a question of how long it takes. Yes. He's talking about giving the AI the ability to use software tools, run simulations, and even write its own code to solve problems. This is what we call an agentic approach. Instead of just predicting the next word, the AI becomes a problem solver that can take actions. He said, and I quote, Grok 5 will have the tools that a company has. Imagine an AI that can not only code, but can also access a physics simulator to test a hypothesis. That's a completely different level of capability. This feels like the secret sauce they believe will bridge the gap from a large language model to something that can actually reason about the world. And this all leads up to the most mind-bending claim of all, discovering new physics. Musk said he expects Grok to discover new, useful technologies no later than next year, and maybe even discover new physics next year, and he said within two years it's almost certain. I mean, just let that sink in. For an AI to discover new physics, it can't just be regurgitating its training data. It has to form hypotheses, test them, and find principles that are genuinely new to humanity. This implies a level of autonomous reasoning and scientific discovery that we have never seen before. Is it just hyperbole? Maybe, but if their strategy of massive compute, true multimodality, and powerful agentic tools all comes together, well, then that's just another incremental update. And if they actually deliver a model that has a non-trivial chance at AGI with the ability to discover new science, then that's not just a product launch. That's a paradigm shift. It's going to be a super interesting end of the year. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Is this Elon just being Elon or is XAI about to shock the world? I'm genuinely curious to hear your take.